So good evening, guys. Welcome to IS with Santosh. Guys, in this video, I am going to start an initiative for the next hundred days where I am going to help you in the answer writing. Every day, I'll be giving you one question from the daily practice sheet, which you have to do the practice after watching the video. You have to then evaluate your answer. Okay, you have to write every day one answer, and then you can evaluate your answers after going through the video. So, guys, this is the daily practice sheet, which is a mains initiative which is there in the website www.optimizeis.com so guys you can see here that today we have questions from general studies paper 1 history then general studies paper 2 then general studies paper 3 okay where we have questions on inland waterways and coastal shipping then from science and tech section ai in healthcare and why are there very few women in science okay but today's answer writing question is this question Okay, there has been a progressive decline in the Indian parliament. Do you agree? Give reasons, suggest reform. So we are going to write an answer. We are going to first brainstorm the question and I'm going to give you how to structure answers, how to break the questions first of all. That is very important. Okay, so let us let us try to do it. Okay, so guys, if we read the question, if you read the question, okay, there has been a progressive decline of the Indian parliament, do you agree? And if you agree, then you have to give reasons. If you have, if you agree, then you have to give reasons. And then you have to give, okay, reforms. Then you have to suggest reforms. So what will be the structure, guys? Okay, if I can, okay, give you the structure. Okay, so the structure of the answer will be what? There will be an introduction. There will be an introduction. An introduction, you can start with some recent context that uh, which will show that yes there is a decline in the indian parliament you can start with some context okay i'll give you a context okay when i will do the answer writing i'll give you a context also then if you agree then if you agree then you'll say that yes there is a decline okay and then you will start giving the reasons why do you agree that there is a decline okay reasons then you will give a heading reasons then you will give one, two, three, four, whatever reasons you have to prove that yes, there is a decline. Because just saying that, okay, that there is a decline in the Indian parliament, it will not suffice. You have to give reasons to back your answers. Okay. And then you have to talk about that what has led to this decline. Okay. What is the root cause? What is the root cause of decline? What is the root cause of decline? This, these are the reasons to justify that there is a decline and then you have to give what is the root cause of the decline in the parliament okay and then you have to talk about reforms then you have to talk about reforms one two three four okay and always always whenever you write a polity answer if you can give some committee and commission some committee or commission report if you can quote some committee and commission report then it is very very good it will give you an extra edge from others it will give you an extra edge from others so guys, we have National Commission to review the working of constitution. You can quote this report in the answer. I will do that. I will just teach you how to do that also. Okay, so let us try to write an answer. So what you will write in the introduction? You can write. Okay, let us try to write an answer, guys. So in the introduction, what you will start? You can start like this. The, the recent, the recent, okay, budgetary session, the recent budget session, of 23 2023 was one of the one of the okay one of the most okay uh, like short one of the shortest session one of the shortest session because of disruptions in the history of parliament well, given you gave some in uh, some context, okay, that the recent budget session, the recent budget session was completely disrupted, and it was one of the shortest session. It was one of the shortest session, okay. So you can say that many. Then you can say that many experts, many experts say that this shows the progressive decline of the Indian parliament. Okay. Then you can set the tone. Then you can set the tone of the answer. Okay. 
then you will say that reasons okay reasons why there is a parliamentary decline or 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 or, or the okay the things which can prove that there is a parliamentary decline okay what are these okay what are these so first is what guys first is guys what okay you can see here first is what the sittings okay number of sittings number of sittings so in 1950 51 it was around 120 plus sittings days 120 plus days sittings now it is just in a year it is just 60 around 60 days around 60 days the number of sittings have declined second guys okay the quality the quality of debates the quality of debates and discussions there is a decline there is a decline third guys third guys can anyone tell me third guys okay you can see here third guys we can write that okay the number of bills referred to standing committee that is also declined it has reduced to 13 percent in 15th lok sabha it was around okay 70 percent now it has reduced to 13 percent okay the number of bills referred to the standing committee has declined next okay increasing criminalization of politics so number of mps with criminal background okay it is increasing okay you can give example 2009 lok sabha 2014 lok sabha and 2019 lok sabha you can give some facts to prove this it was around 23% then it was around 28% then now it is i think 33% okay you can just okay refer it and you can give some data okay next next what can what can you you prove next guys you can write increasing increasing okay increasing disorderly behavior disorderly behavior by mps you see how many times mps are getting suspended okay so disorderly behavior coming to the well shouting all these things are increasing this also shows that there is a decline in the parliament this also shows that there is a decline in the parliament okay then guys then guys okay anti defection law ineffective anti defection law has been ineffective anti defection law has been ineffective and because of anti defection law there are some adverse there are some adverse impact what are the adverse impact the mps okay they are not doing research they are not doing research for debates discussions why because anyways they have to follow the party line so the quality of debates are declining the quality of discussions are declining okay so this is another point next what kind you can give you can see here question hour question hour sometimes it is also disrupted and very few questions taken very few questions taken max four to five questions are only taken previously okay 20 30 questions used to be taken in question hour okay that is another point which you can give next okay what all you can say what all you can give data to prove that there is a decline so these are what guys these are showing that yes there is a decline in the parliament okay number of sittings are declining the quality of debates are declining the number of bills referred to the standing committees are declining increasing criminalization okay increasing criminalization then you can see increasing disorderly behavior by the members then anti defection law has been ineffective adverse impact on the quality of debates because of the mps are not concerned much because they have to follow the party lines then question hour are getting disrupted okay one more point we want you can write is that one more point okay amount of time amount of time on bills is reducing Many a times, you know, they are passing the bill. Many a times they are passing the bill for just like two minutes discussion, three minutes discussion, four minutes discussion, they are passing the bill. Okay, one more point what you can write is that increasing ordinance. Increasing ordinance is a clear indication. Increasing ordinance is a clear indication that there is a decline in the parliament. So ordinances are increasing. 
ordinances are increasing that also shows that there is a decline in the parliament okay so these are the you can justify you can justify yes there is a decline because it question says what there has been a decline in the parliament do you agree and if you agree you have to give reasons why do you agree okay so i have given around seven reasons to justify yes there is a decline in the parliament okay then you can suggest what reforms suggest reforms okay so what is needed guys procedural reforms are needed procedural reforms guys every institution has to reform itself with the passage of time so even in the parliament also there must be some procedural reforms there must be some procedural reforms okay for example one example is that oppositions must be given one dedicated day opposition day dedicated day for opposition where they will decide what is the agenda okay that is one thing second guys okay we need electoral reforms electoral reforms to stop criminalization we need electoral reforms okay next guys next guys what question hour should be not at all disrupted there must be strict okay thing next guys okay discipline okay among the parliamentarians then training training of parliamentarians training of mps then guys okay support institutional support to mps for research see for for doing debates discussion they need to study they need a support so there must be a permanent okay support to the mps there must be secretariat okay and like there's some some intellectual support given to the mps so we can give this then guys all the bills all the bills referred to committees all the bills should be referred to committees all the bills should be refer, referred to committees right now the number of bills reducing okay next guys ordinances must be discouraged ordinances must be discouraged ordinances must be discouraged and then you give a conclusion then you give a conclusion then you give a conclusion that yes okay then you give a conclusion that if we bring these reforms then we can again go to the golden era of the parliament golden era of the parliament was during the jawaharlal nehru prime ministership there was a golden era of parliament okay so we need reforms and here you can quote the national commission working of okay constitution working of constitution it has suggested many reforms like okay few of the reforms i have just told you okay that ordinances should be discouraged committee system should be strengthened research uh, uh, re research support should be given question hour should be disru not disrupted okay disciplining uh, disciplinary action against the unruly parliamentarians okay training all these kind of reforms you can suggest anyone has any doubt guys anyone has any doubt yeah number of days must be fixed okay one 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 reform is what number of days should be at least 120 number of days must be fixed this also you can write this also you can write number of days must be fixed anyone has any doubt you can raise hand guys anyone has any doubt you can raise hand so guys like this every day you have to do one answer writing every day and if you can do the all the answer writing that would be great because guys this year lot of questions have come from the dps lot of questions have come from the dps and i am very confident that next year more questions are going to come from the dps yes anyone else has any doubt